Hey there everybody, I'm Eclipse10, and welcome to Let's Play the Guardian Legend for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And this is the North American box art, and this is some hideous box art. A drag queen lizard thing that has absolutely nothing to do with the game, okay? So let's look at the European box art. That's a little more like it. That is our main character. Her name is Elisa or Maria, but really when you're the Guardian Legend, do you even need a name? No, you don't. So, let's look at the Jap Japanese box art. Yeah, that's some wicked stuff. Imagine how many more copies they would have sold if they went with that instead of the lizard drag queen thing. Alright, let's get this game started. Alright, the Guardian Legend. First and foremost, I will say I love the music in this game. I really, really like it. Blast off! I also had this game as a child. I never really could beat it. It was pretty hard, but thanks to save states, it shouldn't be much of a problem. So just kind of waiting for the story. Here we go. Long ago, an alien race sent a huge world hurtling towards the Earth. Loaded with a cargo of mysterious like worms. You must battle your way deep within the alien world to destroy its vicious inhabitants. You are the guardian of the earth and your saga will become the guardian legend. Now that's what I'm talking about. New game! Alright, I will be using the turbo button. And it is a hybrid game, a hybrid shoot 'em up action adventure game. So, first things first, we gotta get past these asteroids and other hazards. Oh. Um, here in a second, hopefully we will... There, you see that little power-up? You have to shoot the power-up and get it. We're flying pretty fast right now. Normally you're not flying this fast and you can actually see what you're getting. But you got, you know, your basic items, like uh, hearts give you life, and then you also have chips, which uh, you need chips to use your special weapons. Right now we don't have any special weapons. You can kill these things. If you shoot a whole bunch of bullets into them, but they're easier right now to just avoid. There, you can see, that's a heart. Alright. Also, um, I'm back to the 10-minute videos. My uh, experimental long video thing ran out, so who knows what's going to come of that. Hopefully, maybe they'll let us do longer videos someday. I would, wouldn't mind going, you know, to a 15-minute video or something, but hey, whatever. Alright, our first boss fight. So we are traveling to the planet Naju, spelled N-A-J-U. So, I don't know why they didn't include that in the intro. They included it in the, uh, in the instruction manual. Take out this guy right there. All right, now we just gotta work on these big fellas. Dodge their things. You can shoot their bullets. Power back up. That was a red chip. It gives you some life, and it also raises our chip count. Like I say, we that'll be more important once we get some power ups. And there we go. First boss dead. All right. All right. Let's see. If someone is reading this. I must have failed. This star, Naju, was our home, but we were invaded by evil life forms. Everyone except me was killed. I am going to try to activate the self-destruct device. If I fail, I would like you to do this task. I would like blah, 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 so this cannot happen to any other race. The self-destruct mechanism is protected by a safety device, which is located in the underground corridors. Remove each seal and go deep inside Naju. If you destroy all 10 safety devices, the self-destruct sequence will be activated. I don't have much time. I hope this message will not be read by anyone. It will mean that I have failed. Well, I got news for you, buddy. You failed. So here you can see the action-adventure part of the game. It's kind of, you know, Zelda. Uh, has a few elements of Metroid in it as well. You don't have to kill the enemies on the screen. You can just go on. But, um... Let's see, what do we got in here? I don't even know. I had all the corridors sealed. If you need to know how to remove the seal, ask the person who sealed it. To remove the seal at corridor number one, fire at the gate. 
All the rooms leading to the corridors are locked, so use the warp panel to get into the room. To use the warp panel, blast through the cover. You will also need the key for the panel. So what they're talking about is that thing right there that I just shot. These are warp panels right there. This one doesn't have a key, hence the black hole. Um, these are... This W stands for West. We are on the west side of the map, as you can see there. And that other flashing thing is where we're supposed to go, okay? Also, before I end this episode, real quick, let's take a look at our little uniform thing. Yeah, we are a chick, and we are just in a bikini. Now that's hot. Now this game, this game fucking rules. I love it, I love the music. Next time we will continue to explore Naju. You know what, I forgot to start my timer, and I just realized I have a few minutes to kill. So we're gonna go ahead and play a little bit. So these are like a little mini boss battles here. Oh man, Mr. Octopus, that guy... Whoa, that was easy. He reminds me of... that's a special weapon. I don't know, he reminds me of... Looks like he should have to be smoking a pipe or something. There, you see, that's a key. Ouch. That's the warp panels he's talking about. We need that key. Like a backwards question mark thing. There's another special weapon. Right here you see our special weapon. It's okay. We can even demo a special weapon for you. What? So uh, that circles around us. What's down here? Nothing? Okay. And the whole time that thing's circling around us, it, uh, it, uh, it, it costs chips. So I don't really use it too much. It's not necessary right now. We're gonna get a lot better special weapons anyway. I think this is just gonna take us right back to this room. Yeah. Let's go this way. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Spider Tarantula Man. So that little thing right there was a rapid fire upgrade thing. It doesn't keep track of how many you have or anything. We could go in those places, but we need some chips to buy stuff. So let's go get us some few chips. Oh man, found some chips. <laughs> Do you want to record your progress? Uh, let's take a look at the weapons, at the password system, alright? Oh, look at that password system. Is that not the best password system ever? Pff, yeah, right. But as long as you don't turn off the game and you die, you will continue right here. So it just basically was like a checkpoint. There is a creature in this room. It will give you items in exchange for power chips. Will he now? I will sell this to you. I will take that from you. Good luck. Those little things, those blue guys, they're called landers. I don't know why, but whatever. We need more power chips. Are the power chips all gone? Yes, they are all gone. God damn it. Makes me pissed. Alright, well, we'll go back. We'll go back there some other time and get our other stuff. Hmm, where am I going? Let's see. Going to explore little turtles. Alright, another little boss battle. Basically what I'm doing is going around and getting a whole bunch of power-ups before I go into the into the shoot 'em up mode. I wanna go as fully powered strong as I can. So this is like ultra tarantula man. He pops up. Tries to scare me, but I am unscarable. This girl is not afraid of spiders. Ouch! Oh man, I can't. Oh yeah, I can hit you. Die, sucker. Let's look at. Let's use our laser light. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we, we, we can't use it. There we go. That blue lander, he just increased our hearts. Alright? Well, that's where I'm gonna have to end it for now. So, until next time, have a great day.